Yes, and in sports, top-ranked tennis player in the world, Novak Djokovic, advanced to the third round of the Australian Open today, beating Quentin Hales. But not all was straight sets for the Joker, who was forced to deny an Italian report that his 2007 loss to now-retired French player Fabrice Santoro in Paris was fixed. It comes amid revelations that elite tennis players have been paid by gamblers to throw matches. And now for sports news with I24 News Sport Magazine host Jonathan Regev. Jonathan, good evening. Good evening, Ayman. Well, Jonathan, Chile has enjoyed a few good years in football, but the coach is stepping down? Yes, Jorge Sampaoli, that's the name of the coach, the former coach, we should now say. He led Chile to their best run ever. Just a few months ago, last uh, summer for us, winter in South America, they won the Copa America, which they hosted for the first time. And uh, a year before that, 2014, they had a great run in the World Cup, leading them all the way to the second round. They're doing fairly well in the, the build-up to the World Cup in 2018, in the qualifiers, and yet he's stepping down. Why? Because of differences with the local football federation. Apparently, some details of his, of his contract, they leaked to the media, and he blamed people at the federation. And he said very clear, he's from Argentina, and he said, I do not want to live here. I do not want to work here. I want to step out. And they found out the way to basically relieve him from his job. How long has he been the coach? He's been the coach since 2012, and he led Chile to a, well, I would say again, a, a superb run. And now Chile are in the midst of uh, the World Cup qualifiers. Their next match is in two months. Who will be the coach? That's uh, interesting to see. There's a very good Chilean coach in England, Manuel Pellegrini, but he's the coach of Manchester City, at least until the end of the season. Will he be the one that's yet to see? Well, also unknown is what's going on with Brazil ahead of the Olympics. Of course, a tough recession. Yes, uh, the worst recession since the 30s for, for Brazil coming at the worst possible moment, uh, just, just months ahead of the Olympics. And many projects are delayed, even abandoned. Not the major infrastructure project, which is the rail line leading from downtown Rio to Bar de Tijuca, which is where uh, the, the western suburb where the Olympic Village and, uh, is, is located and most of the events will be held. Uh, it, even with all the problems, that project is almost done. It will be ready for the July 1st deadline, uh, just a few weeks before the Olympics. And uh, Brazilian authorities, they're cutting in many, many places. Not here. They're saying this is uh, way too important. I was in London at the, at the London Olympics, and the fact that transportation between the different locations was easy, that made I think that made it uh, a success. The Brazilians are saying we can cut on many places, not on transportation. Well, it says to me that your last item here is Cowboys in the Snow. Yeehaw! Yes, pretty <laughs> Tell much. Tell me more, please. I can't wait to see yes, this. Yes, it's a traditional event uh, taking place for the for the 40, uh, 42nd uh, straight year in uh, Colorado in a place called Steamboat Springs. And basically, 75 cowboys and cowgirls. Take cowgirls too. Cow cowboys and cowgirls. They change their um their their, their horses to uh, skis. There we see it, and it's happening in uh, Colorado. It's a traditional event happening every year. It's just beautiful seeing them replace their. You know, w when you think of cowboys, this is the last thing you would think about. You would think of somewhere in Texas or something like this. The wild wild Not, west. Yes, the wild wild west. Colorado is the last place on the slopes where you would think. But yeah, and this is the stampede. It's the the traditional uh, uh, end of the event where all of them go down the slopes together. Good for the Cowboys. Well, Jonathan Regev, giddy up. Thank giddy you up very indeed. Much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jonathan. Yes, and from Cowboys to space, astronomers at the California Institute of Technology have found new evidence of a giant icy planet about five to ten times as massive as Earth, far beyond the orbit of Pluto. The object, which you can see here, however, has not been observed directly, but rather its existence inferred from the gravitational pull it apparently exerts on other, smaller bodies in the outer so solar system. The researchers are calling it Planet Nine.